So we want names, you know, that have a, a, a good feeling about them. So I've, I've, I've even joked, you know, that it'd be best to call you instead of, you know, real effing good plumbing, uh, cute kitten plumbing, all right? And have a, have a kitten as a, you know, on the side of your truck or whatever, okay? That is a, is a more positive emotion. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 433rd episode of Potty Talk. Again, hey, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Pro. Hey, we have a fun episode here for you. Um, the title of our episode is Brand Like a Boss, Transform Your Service Business. Now, hey, I get a little warning here. I'm, I'm going to talk, talk straight here. So um, what I have to say, starting out here, may, um, may, may melt some snowflakes. So if you're a snowflake, you're gonna, you won't want to hear this, Okay. But it is the truth, and it's just how things are, okay? You know, I've been around the block a time or two. It's been, well, I've been in the trade business now at over 40 years and uh, owned businesses for now for over 30 years and dealt with thousands of customers and thousands of employees and um, paid taxes and audits and all kinds of stuff, up and down with the ride, everything, okay? So when I say this, there's just some things in life that are just facts. It's just how they are. No matter how much our current society wants to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, look for a safe place, and that's not nice, or that's not politically correct, or whatever those things are, right? But there, there's just some things that are just facts, okay? Two plus two equals four, all right? Um, men can't have babies, all right? And people judge a book by its cover. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. All right. People judge a book by its cover. So what do I mean by that? Hey, it doesn't matter how good of a craftsman you are. Okay. It doesn't matter how good of a plumber you are, how, how good of a HVAC tech you are, or electrician, okay, or you know, a carpenter, or what, whatever, whatever your skill is, whatever your craft is, it doesn't matter, okay? Um and we know it does matter, right? It does matter, but it doesn't matter, all right? Um, ultimately, right up front to your customer, right? People judge a book by its cover. So people are judging you ultimately by how your brand looks, okay? And that's what we're talking about here today in this episode, all right? Your brand. It is vital to your home service business, okay? You're branding yourself whether you know it or not, okay? But you're either branding yourself in a way that um, is, attracts and is, is encouraging, you know, customers to uh, purchase from you, to use your service, or you're branded in a way that um, kind of, um, you know, detracts, all right, or uh, pushes, pushes people away from you, okay, um, or, or even, even worse, you know, subconsciously is telling the brain, hey, ignore that. All right. Okay. And that's not a place you want to be. All right. But I promise you, if you stick with me, continue to stick with me here, I'll share with you. Okay. The things that you need to have in place for your branding. All right. That will have you branding like a boss. All right. Having, uh, creating lifetime customers and creating cus customers that are just, just drawn to you for some reason. All right. We're going to go over those kinds of things right now. Okay. All right. So stick it out here with me. So we want to create the best brand possible. And you know, when we start, we start our you know, our, our home service businesses, you know, I was so proud when I started, started my first, you know, plumbing business and, you know, and you're just thinking about a, you know, a name and coming up with a name and what sounds cool. And, um, you know, what, what do I like? Okay. Um, what says that I'm a great plumber? Okay. All those things I did, I did it all wrong starting out. Now I had, had some luck. I did come up with a, you know, a fun, a fun name that turned out to be, um, you know, uh, a name that worked, that provided uh, one of the key factors in that we're going to go over here, um, Attaboy Plumbing. I kind of lucked out there, all right? But, but a, lot of time, a lot of times we don't, okay? And we wind up having this, um, this name and this brand and this look that just gets lost out there, okay? Because, hey, hey customers have, um, you know, ha have a lot of choices, right? It can seem like um, we, ha we have a lot of competition, because uh, there's a, you know, a lot of plumbers out there, a lot of heating and cooling companies out there, all right? Um, a lot of roofing companies out there. Um, so how do we stand out from that noise? And our branding is what does that. It's vital to the success of our home service businesses. So let me go over a couple of things with you that you've got to have in place, all right, 
or that's just um, uh, give you some insight about what's important with your brand, okay? All right, let's get at it here. Number one, first things first here, all right? You got to know that your brand, okay, provokes emotion, okay? So you're provoking emotion, a positive or a negative emotion, all right? And why is that, why is that important? Uh, it's important because our customers are buying on emotion, not with logic, okay? So logic is, well, I'm, I'm, the, you know, I'm the best plumber in town, and they know me as the best plumber in town, okay? Best, best plumbing company in town. That's not how our customers are buying or choosing us, all right? They're choosing us on emotion, okay? Because that's what's happening, all right, in the service side of things anyways. There's, some, there's an emotional happen, there's emotion happening um, anyways, okay? Um, their, their day has been messed up, um, and, you know, now, now I got to call, you know, get some, some uh, service man in my house. Okay, I got to get this fixed. Okay, I don't have hot water or, or, or my air conditioning's out. What, whatever it is, okay, they're upset. Okay, there's a negative emotion, all right? We want to meet them with a positive emotion, okay? So in a situation where someone feels like they're out of control, well, what's a more positive feeling? Well, in this case, someone is going to get me back into control, Okay, so that's, that's really how we want to come across. So our branding is so important in helping our customers feel um, very comfortable, okay, com- comfortable with us, okay, and, that, and then feel like we're going to be helpful, all right, not participate in, a, in the negative side or, or, um, or provide, provoke a negative emotion. So, you know, what, what, what does that look like, okay? And so, you know, it's just like we talk about in, uh, you know, with your family, you know, in, in the holidays. What, what are things you kind of stay away from so you don't get into arguments with your family on holidays? What is it, you know, politics, right? religion, you know, th- th- those kinds of, you know, social issues, okay? Um, it's always best to kind of stay away from those things um, because they, they can involve, you know, we get into heated conversations, right, and un- uncomfortable feelings. Well, the same thing goes with your brand, so if we have a brand um, that, uh, you know, that, that, like Red Dog, I'm coming out, should I should have had names. Or I, I had, a, had a client we worked with, uh, uh, it's been, been some years now, oh, it's been about four years ago, where the name of their plumbing business was um, Real Effing Good Plumbing. So it was Real Effing Good Plumbing Company, all right? Um, and they didn't say effing. They actually said the word. Okay, that was the name, that was the name of their company. <laughs> All right. And uh, of course, you know, does that provide a positive connotation or a negative connotation? Now it can be a little humorous, right? But is that necessarily a positive? Does that make customers feel confident uh, about about you if you had that kind of name? Um, you know, it's again, it's, it's humorous. Um, but in that case, it's not necessarily a, a positive, you know, a, a positive emotion. All right. So we want names, you know, that have a, a, a good feeling about them. So I've, I've, I've even joked, you know, that it'd be best to call you instead of, you know, real effing good plumbing, uh, cute kitten plumbing. All right. And have a have a kitten as a, you know, on the side of your truck or whatever. OK, that is a is a more positive emotion than than having, you know, something like, you know, uh, real effing good plumbing, okay, or um, um, even, you know, if, if you listen, you know, we're people, the lovely Laura and I are, are people of faith and all that, and we have, we have strong um, uh, beliefs and, and feelings in, in that area, um, but we wouldn't necessarily put, have that as a company name, okay, like agape plumbing or anything like, like that that implies a certain relate, um, faith or, or religion. Nothing wrong with having the different um, you know, faiths and religions. It's just, does that, people have strong emotions and, and opinions about that. You see what I'm saying? Okay, is that, is that making sense? Okay, so we want to stay away from those, those kinds of um, names that, that create that kind of emotion. Um, even, you know, we're very patriotic. And I know it can sound very good, you know, um, you know, uh, you know American plumbing or something like that. And it's all red, white, and blue. And it, on the whole, that can be a positive thing, Right. I and mean, we should be proud of, you know, wherever you're from and, and you know, your, your family history and all that kind of stuff. But everyone doesn't resonate with that emotion, all right? So you want to have a brand that, that overall creates the most positive emotion to the most amount of customers, okay? So everyone feels 
Um, I'm going to say the word <laughs> inclusive. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, th- this is an area where you want to make, uh, um, you know, people feel as cl- included as, as possible. Okay. Um, because you, you want to take care of all peoples, right? You want to you serve everyone. So you want to make them all feel comfortable. All right. That's number one. Number two. All right. Your brand needs to be immediately intuitive. Okay. Like that. They understand what it is. Okay. Um, I like to use the, the one Mississippi test. Okay. It used to be three Mississippi. Okay. All right. Well, what I mean by that is you could put your logo when you're, when you're, your, your logo is on a sheet of paper, you know, like, uh, you know, eight by 11 or whatever. Okay. Print out the logo and then be able to hold it up one Mississippi and then put it down, you know, hold it, you know, hold up to a friend, stand six foot away from a friend. All right. Or someone, all right. And and say, I'm, Hey, I'm going to hold, hold up a piece of paper, um, with a logo on it and, um, give you a quick look. And then I want you to tell me what it is and what, and what you know about it. Okay. So you hold it up one Mississippi and down. All right. It should be in that time. Where, where they understand exactly, okay, what it is, um, what, what the name is, okay, what they do, okay, extremely important, all right, because that's, again, uh, your logo is going to be on the side of your truck, all right, and you see this, so sad to see this, you know, the, the trucks on the, all the service trucks on the, on, the, on the road, which is fun to see, you see all the trades, okay, um, see them all out there, but they just get lost in, in the minutia, all right, because the customers are driving around and they just see all these different vans. And if, if it's not immediately intuitive, what happens is our brain just turns it off. In fact, it's even worse than that. They don't even turn it off. It says it mem- our brains do memorize, okay, remember rather, okay, who that is. But, but then it says throw it in the trash bin. We don't need to know them. Oh, and, that, you know, and that's killer right there. Okay, you don't want to fall into that. All right, that's like falling into the Google sand trap or whatever, a sandbox, okay. Uh, you're, you're never getting out of it, okay? Um, so when the, when the brain does that, no, we want to have um, a brand that uh, stands out, has a positive emotion, an immediate positive emotion, and is immediately intuitive. So I understand exactly, uh, you know, who they are, okay? And, I, and I, that name makes me feel good, all right? And then I know what they do, plumbing, okay? On that note, that's why we don't want on our, on our vehicles, on our um, service trucks, everything that it is that we do, okay? Um, first of all, the brain's not going to go through it, and you're going to fall into that case of, hey, forget about them, all right? The brain's, we just don't read the stuff, all right? Then it's also confusing. So if you don't mention something that could be their issue, even though you and I know it, it's tied like, um, you know, I, I may mention we do toys, plumbers, toilets, and, and showers, and water heaters, um, but I don't mention garbage disposals, but as plumbers, we, we do garbage disposals. Okay. But I didn't mention that. And then the customer says, well, I have a garbage disposal problem. Do they take care of that? The brain actually works like that. Okay. And as soon as the brain works like that, they'll actually not call you, but then call another plumbing company. You see what I'm saying? All right. So we want to make it clear as, as possible. And so just having, you know, plumbing there or heating and cooling, Okay, not explaining your heating and cooling services on, on your truck, All right? Just heating and cooling. Then their minds, well, it's heating, this is a heating and cooling problem, so, you know, I'll, I'll just call them, all right? It, it, it works that, that simply, okay? That's how it works, but it must be intuitive, okay? Just like that, they need to be able to see it. And again, you know, back, back in the day, we used to get more like three to six seconds. Now it's down to a second, Okay, so you got to be right on it, immediately intuitive. All right. Hey, sticking out, sticking with me here so far. As always here, hey, I got something for you. Check it out. Let's face it. Home service companies are a dime a dozen. And Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. Now, it may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. That's why there's Kick Charge, the industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency who has been instrumental in getting home service providers noticed for over 20 years. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information, go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash kick charge. Start getting noticed today. All right, welcome back. We're talking branding, not blanding. Okay, branding. And how to, more importantly, how to brand like a boss. And it's not hard, okay? Um, first of all, branding is extremely important to our home service business, all right? It's extremely important to your home service business, all right? So we, it is something that we have to get down, all right? And um, there, there is a, 
there, there, there's a way about it that attracts the most amount of customers, okay, instead of um, the tracks <laughs> or pushes customers away from us, all right? And starting out, you know, we need to have something that provokes a positive emotion, okay? We go right to it, a positive emotion, not a negative emotion, all right? It needs to be immediately intuitive, intuitive. We got to understand it right then when we see it out and about quickly. What is it? Who are they? And what is it? And what is it that they, that they do, all right? And make it easy for our brains just to say, okay, that's easy just to slot in there, all right? And when, I, when we need them, when I Google, you know, plumbers near me and up pops, you know, attaboy plumbing. Oh, I remember seeing them. Oh, yeah, they're good. They don't know if we're good or not. They just, we just felt good. They like the name. They like the brand. They like the logo. They like how things look. They can remember it. All right, I know them. There we go. That's who they're going to call, all right? All right? And then finally, all right, a good brand encourages trust, okay? encourages trust and that's ultimately what we're trying to do all right especially w with our home service businesses all right again we're, we're providing things or you know services and equipment that's not necessarily that they're they're dying to spend money on okay and or or proud of or excited about or whatever you know it's not like uh you know you get a big new you know new uh, battery powered super duper some pump backup system, okay, or whatever, and their friends come over, and hey, hey, let me show you, let me take you down in the basement and show you, you know, something pretty cool we got, okay, it's nothing like that, all right, and so ultimately, what's driving this, this process is, is trust, okay, and so a good brand does just that, what about that first, that brand, that, that name I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, real effing good plumbing, is, is that a name that, that, that encourages trust? You know, how about that? <laughs> okay. Um, and, and the whole thing of it is, again, we're back, we're back to the, the emotion. It's funny, but do I necessarily want, uh, you know, a funny guy doing my plumbing? I'm not looking for a fun, funny. I'm, I'm looking for, you know, someone I can trust that I believe is capable of doing the work. Okay. All right. That's, that's going to have me covered. All right. That's what we're, that's what we're looking for. And it comes down to, again, I said it earlier, it's not, a, it's not a logical decision, all right? They're not, our customers aren't making logical decisions. They're making a, an emotional decision. This whole time is, this is an emotional time. Again, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber or you, okay? No matter what you're, whatever it is you're doing, okay? No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call us, all right? And if they're having to call us, it's because something's out. There's some kind of problem, all right? So they're already experiencing that already having negative emotions all right and it's an emotional situation it isn't a logical thing like um i'm gonna um, make these kinds of investments so that we have a retirement or um i'm having my kids in in this kind of training and um you know uh sports class or what, whatever okay is there is there learning or whatever to, to get them to a certain level okay that we're logically thinking once we learn this and we can learn this and learn that, okay, all right? That's not what's happening here. This is totally an emotional situation, all right? So your brand must, all right, have a positive emotion, okay? That encourages trust, all right? And so, um, you know, again, does cute kitten plumbing, does that encourage trust? <laughs> I don't know. It feels, it feels good. That, that's what's so funny about it, okay? Are just so, you know, it's, again, we're dealing with, with emotions. So as long as emotion, a positive emotion, usually um, leaves, leaves, has a customer feeling like they can a trust, okay, that they can trust, trust you, all right? Negative, again, you can be the best, um, you know, listening to, um, in fact, there was a, it was, a, it was a couple guys, and they, they had a team. They had, had work going on with the, the real effing good plumbing company, okay? And I knew they were good. Just talking, you know, we get in talking about plumbing and that kind of stuff. I knew they knew their stuff and loved the, the way they talked about the customers, loved the customers and, and that kind of a thing. But they weren't, you know, their service calls, things weren't picking up. And so we reviewed, you know, what do you think about the name? And it just, you know, they weren't going to change the name. <laughs> but uh, the, the name, I didn't think um, – Lended, it, lended itself the brand to trust, okay? And it's so important, all right? Your brand needs to encourage trust. Really, it is that simple with your brand, all right? But not necessarily easy because you got to think through these things, all right? And I'll leave you with a, a final note here on the, the branding. It's not what you like or what moves you, okay? It's what moves your market, 
Okay, I'll say that again. It's not what moves you, but moves your market. So you'll come to love your, the name of your company, all right? But it's more important that the name of your company means something to, um, to them, all right? It's about them, not about you. An example, a lot of, a lot of guys will name their company, you know, be some t- kind of initials. And I'll ask, you know, what are the initials stand for? What's the, the first initial of their, their kids' names? All right, so we get, you know, A-N-P plumbing, and it happened to be the name of the kids, okay, the first initial of their, of their first names, all right? That means something to, to you or to the business owner, to me, the business owner, all right? But it means nothing. It creates no emotion, um, and no emotion is a negative emotion, by the way. So it creates a negative emotion, all right? It's not intuitive. What's an A-N-P? I know it has nothing to do with plumbing, Neither does a cute kitten. has nothing to do with plumbing. But I understand, you know, what a cute kitten is. It's intuitive. Cute kitten plumbing, okay? I understand, that, that's a kitten. That's a cute kitten, and that's plumbing. Okay, I, I understand what that is. Um, A&P plumbing, is that a special kind of plum? What's an A&P? Does that mean it's only you – know, I, I, don't I don't know what that means. Brain shuts off, okay? And because I don't know what that is, that's, it's a negative emotion, so it's already – you know, I don't quite trust there, all right? I don't know what it is. So I don't trust that, all right? So it doesn't encourage any kind of trust, all right? Your brand is so important, all right? And that's just then what we will always touch base in uh, on is the idea of um, the brand as far as your logo and your name, okay? But your brand is how you look. It's everything. So that, that filters through everything, all right? So it's, it's important that your brand makes sense even in, in, the, in what you're wearing, Okay, it must look good, which, um, you know, just very quickly on uniforms with brands, you know, it's so more important than having, you know, jeans and a T-shirt, but to have a uniform because that, that says professional, that says uh, that I, the customer, well, this is a professional technician, all right, they're in a uniform, they must be professional, and it is, again, it's just emotional, that's not logical, okay, all right, you may know nothing about plumbing, but he's wearing a plumbing uniform, and it looks good, all right, so I trust that. That's exactly how your customers are thinking. It is that basic. It is that simple, all right? Brand is that simple, all right? Get your brand together, all right? Brand like a boss. There we go. Hey, if you want to learn more about branding, um, which is very vital to your home service business, along with, with all the other, other aspects of running your home service business, okay? The right kind of marketing, all right. How, how do I market? Who do I market to? All right. Where do I market? All right. All right. Social, TV, radio, what, what, what I do. Okay. Um, to um, hiring, attracting and hiring the best guys. And then how do I do the training? All right. To what, what should I charge? How, how, how do I figure out what to charge? How, how do I charge? All right. How do I systemize my charging? All right. How do I collect? All those kinds of things. So how do I sell? All right. I have the only sales training you ever need, okay? Just the service sales system, all right? Closed over 98% of my calls, all right? Now with hundreds, okay? Hundreds of clients have done just the same, all right? With my service sales system, okay? You can get all that in, in the Success Academy. And right now, I want to give you a 14-day free trial, okay? It's yours, 14-day free trial. Simply go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash success, all right? To learn more about the Success Academy, what's all there, okay? And to grab you a 14-day free trial. Do it, all right? Let's take your uh, home service business to the next level, okay? All right, here we go. Branding. All right, brand like a boss. It's a good one. Hey, but before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So get out there. Be dangerous. Be dangerous.